In this tutorial, I'm going to just go over briefly how to create a two column layout using CSS. And I, as you can see, I'm working in a blank web page which I've already saved as index, and I have no styles currently defined. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is actually create a an ID called hash container. Now this must be an ID because I'm defining an area on a page uh, and because it's an ID it must start with the hash. Now the container is I guess the, uh, the bit that goes around the outside of my website, it's sort of holding it all together. So um, again it's going to be in a new style sheet file so Dreamweaver will ask me to give a name there, I'm going to call it styles and now when I uh, give the characteristics for my container I'm just going to go to the box and I'm going to set it to be 750 pixels wide now that may be different for your designs I'm just going to do a two column one which has a 500 pixel width column and then a narrower 250 pixel so they'll total to 750 now I'm also going to center this on the page so I'm going to go to my margin and set the right and left margins to auto so I'll click OK now, what I'm going to do next is create another ID, and this one I'm going to call hash left column, left col, and you notice it has been defined in the same style sheet, so that's good practice. And this one here under box is going to be 500 pixels wide. Oops, just 500, yep. I'm also just going to set a height here. Um, completely arbitrary, I'll set it 400 high just so we can actually see what's going on and um, I'll also set a background colour again just so you can see more easily uh, visually what's happening so click OK and then I'll create one for the right column, so I'll call it hash right col I'll give this one another very different where does it go for a blue background colour and I'll set it to be 250 wide and 400 high also. Now, click OK. So now I'll just go to my split view here. So when I insert my first div tag, which I'll do here, and I insert my container, this first one, uh, there it appears in my code and in my design view. I'll just hit backspace to get rid of that dummy text that Dreamweaver has inserted there. And you notice that in my code, the cursor is flashing away between the opening tag for that div and the closing tag. And that's good because that's where we want these other divs to go. We want it to go inside there. So I'm going to add my left column. Okay. And then I'm just going to click outside the left column one. So now my cursor is after that. But you notice it's actually before the container ends. There it is in line 12. So I'll click at the end of line 11. I'm going to add my right column. And you'll just see in my code view here what happens, how they appear in order. Now that's because um, to start with HTML works from top to bottom, it just follows through, nothing sits next to each other. Things just follow in order, so we get this look here. Now what we need to do is we need to break that and we're going to break out that these two elements so that they float next to each other. Now to do that I'm going to come over and just I'll just double click on my left column and I'm going to use this property under box category called float. Now I'll float my left column to the left click OK and then I'll go to my right column and I'm going to float that one again under box float that to the right and you can see now on my design view, and I'll just click on design view, you can see now how they sit next to each other. So that is using the float category, or float characteristic. Now just one other thing to be aware of before I finish, if I decide to add a footer at the end of this, so let's add a new one and I'm going to call it hash footer. And I'll make it give it a totally different background color, so I'll go for a green. 
if I set that to 750 pixels wide as well, uh, and I want this to appear down the bottom of my page, what I need to do is beneath the float there's an option for clear. I just need to choose clear both and what that will do is it will remove both the left and the right floats and if I don't do this you'll find that your footer will try and jump all over the place. So uh, if you're finding problems with your layout, with a two column layout, first of all check that you've floated your two columns left and right and then check that you've cleared those floats in the footer or whatever you have below the, the columns. So I'll click OK. I'll go back to my split view here and I'll click after the right column. Notice so there I am at the end of line 12. And now when I add this last div tag, my footer, click OK. In my design view, you can see now how the green appears underneath the two columns. So that is how you create a two-columned design in Dreamweaver.